all right what's going on everybody welcome back to another video here on the channel and today we're going to be talking about something that i hope i never have to talk about again because it honestly shouldn't have happened in the first place and that is the attempted assassination of trump i feel like this event no matter how you look at it is definitely going down in american history and also i feel like it's one of the crazier things to see in this generation this is in my opinion definitely something that you would see in like history books and the reason why i'm making this video today and not something else is because because honestly i just want to document a little bit of history you know and before we even get on to the rest of the video i just want to give my condolences to the family of the man who was shot in the head during the attack the man apparently has been identified as Corey comprator and you know no matter how you look at it right I, I don't think that this much violence or violence at all should be the way that you kind of answer to things that are proposed by presidential candidates if they win especially if they miss pretty much every shot that was supposed to hit the main target because now you've done something that you probably didn't really want to do and was probably counterproductive to what your original goal was because because not only did the shooter miss the target in question, but he also gave conservatives and even some Democrats at this point even more of a reason to vote for Trump if they weren't already. I'm not really saying voting for either one is bad. Who you vote for and want to win is who you vote for and want to win, right? I don't really care. This also shows that this country is more divided than ever. I mean, I don't really remember the last time an attempt was made on the president's life or a presidential candidate's life. It probably didn't happen in my lifetime, but like I said before, this is the stuff that you read in history books. So it's definitely a, a pretty crazy moment to witness IRL. However, as you can guess, like social media and their response is something crazy, man. It's one thing to want somebody to lose the election, but wishing death upon someone is just absolutely absurd. And maybe some Biden supporters in response to that would say, hey, haven't the Trump supporters been wishing death upon Biden this whole time? And I don't really think that's the case. It's more like they're just kind of predicting the future because it already seems like Biden's on his way out. And I'm not even talking about the Oval Office, bro. He's just mentally checked out. You can tell, bro. He's just a husk on stage. However, here are some of the responses to the entire situation from things like TikTok and even Biden himself. I just found out about this shit. It just happened. I haven't even had a second to process. You're telling me somebody finally had the balls to bring a pew pew. And he missed! We were a second away! We were a centimeter away from half of the problem being gone and you missed! was a white man attached to that trigger. I know! How do you miss that? We don't miss those! Come on, man! Fuck! We don't miss those! One shot at greatness! To be mentioned in the history books! And you miss the shot! Fuck! <laughs> what fucking shit? Telephone? Look, there's no place in America for this kind of violence. It's sick. It's sick. It's one of the reasons why we have to unite this country. We cannot allow for this to be happening. We cannot be like this. We cannot condone this. And so and I want to thank the Secret Service and all the agencies, including the state agencies, that have been engaged in making sure that the people who, and we have more detail to come relative to other injured, other people maybe injured in the audience. Wilkes Booth, if you can hear us, if you are with us, please, please. John Wilkes Booth, if you're, if you're listening, please. Let me get this, let me get this straight. Dumbass! You have a fully reloaded shotgun, but you chose to use a one bullet. We're not even sending our best to fucking assassinate. Cause what the hell was that? Lee Harvey Oswald would never, bitch. John Wilkes Booth would never. Today was like this close to being the best day ever. Also, the person that at Trump at his rally was exercising that right that all those Republicans were fighting for. So can you really blame him? So mostly it's just a lot of liberals screaming at the top of their lungs and wishing death upon Trump or wishing that the best day ever would have happened, which is fucking insane, honestly. Like, damn, bro. I get that a lot of Democrats don't want Project 2025 to happen. Even maybe some Republicans don't want it to happen, but I don't think it's really grounds for saying that you want someone to die, especially in front of their family who is also there, Baron Trump was there, and whose extended family would have saw this on live television. Obviously, a lot of people don't think when they, you know, just react out of emotion, especially people on the 
internet. However, I was looking this up last night, and you know, feel free to correct me if I'm wrong about this, but in the case of like a presidential candidate being incapacitated or actually being dead, and of course this is before the election happens, but wouldn't the vice president take his spot and then get his votes too? Because I know that's how it works for like the president and the vice president, right? If the president goes down, then the vice president becomes the acting commander in chief, right? So I figure it would be the same thing for like someone who's running for president. And if that's the case, man, I mean, it really doesn't make sense that you want Trump to die because if that was the case, if he actually did die yesterday, then Mike Pence would probably just carry on with Trump's original plan and Project 2025 would still happen. Anyways, moving on to another topic that I wanted to touch on. There seem to be a lot of people that think that the entire event was staged or that it was fake. And this is after the fact that it came out that people died, right? That the shooter was dead, that the fire chief who was there to support Trump was shot in the head and he was dead. And I think the most common reason behind that was that people were so ready to take pictures of a historical moment like this because yeah one of the most polarizing figures in media right now and a former president just had an attempt made on his life yeah let's just like not photograph history right because that makes a whole bunch of sense and apparently this actress i guess if you can call her that i don't really know who this is seems to think that the whole thing was staged because of fake blood but have a listen that shit was more staged than a tyler perry production of Medea runs for president I lived in Harlem long enough to know that gunshots do not sound like making popcorn on the stove. Where'd the blood come from? So in theater, in movies, they have what's called blood pellets. You, they even, you know, a lot of people use them in Halloween. It's basically like a pellet of fake blood that's in your mouth. And when you crush it, the blood comes out. Um, to be frank, small hands Trump would not respond by raising his fist in the air triumphantly were an actual attempt made on his life. This was, I believe, done to try to show his strength counter to Biden's fragility. But um, bum. Oh my god. Okay, so this video makes no sense for a multitude of reasons. Number one, she starts to question the audio of the gunshots. And to anybody who's like actually questioning that, I want you to think about something for a second, right? Think about the placement of that camera from the video that she's showing. And also just think about how sound works. The closer you are to the source of the sound, obviously the louder and more detailed it's going to be. So the bullets sounding like popcorn, as she puts it, kind of makes sense, dude. I mean, the gunman wasn't right in front of the camera guy and the shooter was likely meters away from where Trump actually was so yeah it's going to sound a little bit toned down I guess you could call it I mean the same thing will happen in videos that are filmed in a war zone you can hear bullets ringing in the background because I mean fucking obviously but yeah dude it's gonna sound faded because it's not next to you and then she asked where the blood came from his fucking head? What? You know, I don't really blame her for asking that question because it is a new trend, right? I, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's a new trend on like TikTok or something, right? When somebody gets shot in the fucking head, they start bleeding apparently. I don't know what that's all about, but hey man, God probably just patched that in all of a sudden and it just started happening. Who knew, right? And then lastly, she starts talking about how this whole thing was staged to make Trump look stronger than Biden. My guy, as if everyone didn't already know that. Biden probably already knows that, all right? And I'm pretty sure Trump knows that he knows that, all right? Trump knows that everyone knows that he's physically capable, or at least physically capable of stringing two sentences together. I mean, like in every clip that I see of Biden, it almost seems like bro's doing his best black noir impression and suffering from narcoleptic episodes. <laughs> None of that video made sense at all. And honestly, I have yet to see any conspiracy theorist guy or woman actually come up with a real reason as to why they say Say that the whole thing was staged it all just sounds like bs to me like i mean seriously if you have to ask yourself where the fucking blood came from when someone got shot you're just automatically cooked dude just get off the internet man this is not for you all the memes that i've seen from this event are pretty funny people are comparing trump to 50 cent and actually 50 cent just performed one of his famous songs i believe it's called mini men in honor of trump i will say one thing before i go though i just hope that nobody tries to retaliate from the right to the left you know and that nobody goes and threatens biden's life i don't think on 
either side, no matter who you are, your life should be threatened, right? Uh, especially by the other side, because it just makes the other side that's doing the attacking look worse. And trust me, man, if the left was already tired of hearing shit from the right, they better get ready for it, man, because they're not going to hear the end of this until, I don't know when, maybe a couple of years after the election happens. Who knows? But that's going to be it for me today. I hope you did enjoy. If you did, hit that like button. If you want more content similar to this, hit that subscribe button. I'll see you in the next one. Sub up, stay safe, and peace. Thank <laughs> you.